better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I do realize it's been a while since I posted a new video on YouTube. And there's a good reason for that. I've just been kind of busy with the gallery side of things. Still photography, but just different. And it's crazy how the small things take a lot of your time. So I haven't really much planned any trips in the last few months. And this is kind of the first trip that I've planned in a while. I'm here staying in two nights in, in Big National Park. It's one of my favorite parks here in Quebec. I've been here a few times in the summertime, but never in the wintertime. So I am curious to kind of explore here, see what I could find. And one of the things, what it's unique about this park is, you know, you get the high tide and low tide, but it's on the, it's based on the St. Lawrence River. So this is one of the bays here behind me. And right now it's around sunset. After checking the tide tables, it looks like at sun, around sunset is always low tide. And, and at sunrise, it's closer to high tide. So I, I'm definitely gonna come back here in the morning and see what it looks like compared to now because it changes drastically. So this is one of the things I like about this park. I didn't know what to expect coming here the whole time I'm driving up, which is about like a six hour drive from Montreal. I'm thinking, I'm wondering what I'm gonna see. Like I'm kind of curious. So today after like doing a six hour drive, I pretty much have a few hours before it's dark. So I'm just gonna walk around, explore a little bit around here, see what it looks like in terms of composition that I'd like to revisit on my full day tomorrow. This is mainly going to be my photography day today, just kind of a bit like exploring. If I find something worthwhile, I'll definitely take a picture. But it's very cluttered behind me at low tide. You can see like a lot of seaweed showing up and all these ice pieces are just sitting on the, on the river bed. So I definitely would like to see it when the water comes back in. You can get all water all around these ice. It could be, you got my interesting shapes, interesting landscape to photograph. But I don't think I'm going to get any light on this trip because tomorrow is supposed to be snowing all day, I think. And pretty much today is overcast. It's going to be pretty much like this. There's going to be a challenge in terms of light. Right now it's about 4 or 8 p.m. And sunset's around just before 7 p.m. So I have like a couple of hours. I'm just going to hit one trail here, just kind of explore on the shoreline and see what I could find. And if I see anything interesting, definitely pull up my camera and take some shots. Yeah. Oh, better get to it, huh? Stop wasting time talking on the camera. So I kind of thought I'd share with you guys a little bit what I plan to be doing. Right now, I'm somewhere about here on the trail. And I'm just gonna explore this part here, all the way to the edge here where I this is the maximum point that I can reach. I don't know if you can see that, but I figured I'd kind of share what I, my plan is. This is the part that I'm going to explore today. There's a trail that goes all around the edge of the bay here. On the, so you get multiple viewpoints, hopefully. And this is where I'm actually staying tonight in a yurt. So I have access to another bay nearby. So I can access another trail here as well. You know, which would be, could be interesting. Kind of curious myself. I think I better get to it before I lose the light. Yep. It's always good to keep a map with you to know where you're headed and where you want to explore. So I have a rough idea of kind of a plan for the two days that I have here, maybe like two days total. If you count the night throughout from Tuesday night to Thursday morning. We'll see what I could find. Hopefully I can get at least one good photo. I'd be happy. But, you know, this trip was just about getting back into the mood of shooting, which I kind of feel like I forgot a little bit. So I'm kind of trying myself out and testing out if I'll enjoy and I find interesting pictures during this time. So, yeah, let me get going. Look ahead, the sea is calm And I know we've been through a lot Just wait mm, Wait for better days to come And carry us like wind in our sails oh, So I came to another lookout here And I don't know if you can see it behind me Just over there in the distance You can see kind of the water starting to rush back in There's some wave action going on And it looks like the water is kind of coming back in at high tide, you know. It hasn't filled out the bay yet, but 
eventually I think by seven o'clock but it would be dark the water would have would have filled up the whole bay it's kind of nice to see that you know I'll show you a clip close up so you can kind of see what I'm talking about but it is very interesting and there's, there's a lot less snow and ice here kind of like the other bay have more ice pieces here's a lot less but there's more rocks and usually I think in the summertime it's a good point to find seals hanging on the rocks and maybe you could find in winter but at a quick glance I don't see any any movement on the rocks to kind of photograph this kind of thing but it would have been cool to kind of get the telephoto out and try to see if I can photograph some seals you know <laughs> but and I'm gonna continue on another trail to my right that goes along the shoreline to um, which is called Kapla Renial which is like a nice rock formation in the water I'm gonna see as much as I can get close to it I think at some point there's a cutoff point you can't go further because it's icy it's dangerous because you'd be like right on the river's edge so I'm gonna try to see if I continue on if it's not that far to access I think that would be a good option for today to photograph because I don't know what else to do like the other trails might take a bit more time to explore and I still have to go back to my yurt get set up probably cook some dinner tonight but uh, yeah I want to get set up get fire going in the yurt so you know I have access to it at five o'clock it's not ready yet to get access right now this is why I'm killing time taking pictures but I want to get set up on my first night properly make sure my sleeping situation is set up the cabin's heating up and tomorrow I'll get up early and go explore I think I'm gonna do the bay that I saw in the beginning of this video that I showed you I think that's a lot more interest there with all the high species and tonight I'm gonna try to see if I can get a picture at the end of this trail where I told you there's an interesting rock formation that I photographed in the in the summertime I think it's more accessible in the summertime but winter could be limited the access so I'm curious to find out what it looks like in winter, see if there's a composition there. Could be interesting if I get some shoreline with water or with ice pieces with the rock formation in the background. Could be nice from front to back as a foreground element to have some ice pieces, icy shoreline and the rock formation in the background. You know, this is interesting here, but you know, it's not quite doing it for me. So I think I'll definitely, you know, continue on and but it was kind of cool to see the, the wave action just happening there. The water's kind of coming in. It's crazy that this is the river, you know? Definitely nice. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna set up and take my picture because I don't like the beach very much because it's kind of like not very interesting program. But if I put on my telephoto lens on my camera, and even though I'm a bit further away, it's good to be at a safe distance here because now high tide is approaching. So I don't want to be stuck at the beach. So from this higher elevation here, I can kind of zoom in with my telephoto lens on that rock formation with maybe capture some of the drama of the waves crashing that's going to be really really interesting so this is what i'm excited about like i had no idea what to expect you know so you get a little bit of snow on the rock you get some waves crashing up against it so probably going to fire off a couple of shots probably a lot of shots Ooh, damn it's going to be nice man i'm excited i'm going to get set up here and try to get a picture. So really, really excited. Wow. Woo. I kind of like the mood in the sky too. Even though there's no light, it's still really, really nice because it's kind of, there's a lot of drama with the waves and everything. So definitely adds to it. So I'm not really bummed out. There's no good light here or lack of it because the dark, clouds on top of the rock 
should make it very interesting oh man it's gonna look good i think all right you know i'm just gonna try just for the sake try to change my my composition to horizontal and see what that does because it could be interesting too because vertical I'm, I'm being forced to kind of include some element that I don't like in the foreground I just want to focus on the drama with the rocks I think horizontal works well because it shows more of the coastline too and the rock formation surrounding it so definitely like something like that yeah it works well just, just kind of fix up my composition well the spark always never disappoints you know so I switched to a horizontal orientation. I think it, given the, even though it's a vertical kind of a rock formation, I think horizontal kind of shows more of the shoreline. And when I was shooting vertical, I was, I was kind of forced to include some of the foreground beach that I don't like, it wasn't interesting. So I think like this, I have a better, better shot, more tight on the drama. And I kept it a bit wider, not too tight because I can crop in if I want to, but I think it's good gonna get my exposure right just to make sure it's fast enough get my shutter speed right I'm just kind of firing off shots trying to get just one nice wave action when it splashes against the rocks you know it's so windy and so chilly here but it's worth it you know I just take some shots and then oh that was a good shit I missed that one <laughs> oh my god I think the camera, my camera being the Sony A7R4, when I fire a high speed ratio, which I'm firing off right now, it does have some issue keeping up with the buffering. So at some point, like it just refuses to take more pictures. So definitely like that's something to consider when you're doing this kind of thing. You have to kind of time it to make sure like you're not getting peak splash of the wave and you're, you're not able to capture it. That's like the worst thing ever. Cause it happened a few times with me. So just want to make sure that I'm getting the action oh man <laughs> this is really really fun I honestly like it's so chilly here I'm kind of getting cold <laughs> standing in one spot but it's definitely worth it my god I think this is going to be a big one here yeah my god well i think it's safe to say that i got the shot that i wanted seemed like the drama seemed like it kind of died down a little bit i'm pretty sure though i got a photo in there that i really really like so Oof. man it's windy look ahead the sea is calm and i know we've been through a lot but just wait I think like for this, this has definitely made the six hour drive today all worthwhile. This was gets me excited about photography is capturing. Oh my God. Ow. I think I missed that one, but it was crazy, you know. Whew. I think I missed it, but I'm pretty sure I have at least one good one, you know. So I think, yeah, I'm going to pack it up. Every time I look, it's like gets more, more really, really nice. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna pack it up and and head back to the to the car. All right, that's enough shooting. I think I said like five times already that I'm gonna head back to the car and I, and I turn around and it just keeps going and it's like, I just want to keep taking pictures right now. I'm going to head back to the car, head back to where I'm sleeping tonight, which is in a yurt. It's pretty much, like I said, a wooden platform with like a canvas tent. So it should be pretty cozy. You know, get a fire going, cook some food, and call it a night <laughs> and uh, go warm up from this <laughs> windy, cold day. But definitely, oh my God. You know what? Jesus, man. Every time I look, 
There's something going on there that's crazy. take about a good 20 minutes to warm up but in the meantime I think the best way to kind of celebrate a good first day kind of returning to photography is with a glass of whiskey and I'm trying I'm a big fan of like single malt whiskey so I'm trying one that I never tried before it's called the classic laddie which is kind of ironic you know I don't know who that's who that's referring to but it's pretty good. Nice whiskey by the fire after a day of photography. Can't really beat that. I mean, for me, that makes me like, I don't know, feel relaxed and happy, you know. 